this occasion, the 11th of the awards, it gives me great pleasure and a sense of satisfaction to see you know, the manner in which this project has developed over the years. This year, uh, we recorded the highest number of submissions, 51 books. You have young writers, young Palestinian writers, both male and female, you know, academics, uh, creative writers, uh, coming from various backgrounds. That also is, 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 is inspiring. It gives us hope, you know, that this, this project will live on for a very long, long time. I think it's the first time Palestinian books all together and authors have had such a prominent exposure. And, you know, where else do you see nine Palestinian distinguished writers who are shortlisted that now, this, this year and last, the last couple of years, almost all the writers are Palestinians. Well, on behalf of the trustees of the PBA, a very, very warm welcome to you all. I can't tell you how exciting it is for us to be actually doing this in person after two years of seeing each other rather solemnly on Zoom. Too often our voices are silenced. Every time we respond with another book, more books, more of you, more authors, more intellectuals, more poets. So without further ado, let me tell you who has won the award academic book of the year. <laughs> so the winners of the 2022 academic award are Afshan Ajour. Reclaiming humanity in Palestinian hunger strikes. Well, I believe that the recognition should go to the research participants. Hunger striker, they said they believe that the Israeli propaganda uh, view them as terrorists, suicidal, and they wanted to show who is the terrorist. So I hope that the book convey the counter narrative of Palestinian hunger strikers. Winner number two. Lara and Stephen Shinshu. Psycho analysis and an Touched and moved because the heart of this book is our Palestinian colleagues and comrades and clinicians to have their voices uplifted and pierced through the pages and then to have it win an award is beyond what we could have imagined and we're so grateful. Each one of these nominees we all together create a particular sort of synergy in thinking about how Palestine is in the process of liberating itself through the Palestinian people and their daily, daily lives. So uh, it's an amazing feeling. Thank you. Palestine will be free. Oh. Winner number three of the Life Academic Award is Len Welshman. Palestine's first human rights organization. I would like to accept it as a tribute to Al Haq and Al Haqqas, past and present, and to the courage, I think, and the defiance of Palestinian human rights defenders who keep insisting that human rights work is their form of resistance. Well, there were 51 books. Majority are really, really good books. It was a very hard choice. Um, we have done the first reading, and the first reading included that we choose uh, 10 books out of the, 50, uh, the 51. Judgment was basically on um, the quality of the book, uh, its contribution, originality. It's also uh, the ways in which it offers something new. Uh, what we didn't have earlier on was very many novels. 
Now we have more novels, and that's very good about creative, we call it, uh, and more poetry. Dr. Sweet will provide, will uh, present the awards for creative writing. And I am so happy for all of you. I don't know who won, I haven't seen, but even those that didn't win, I can tell you, just to be able to write about what's in your heart, so that the whole world will know about it. It's a wonderful feeling. So it's Kiba Hayat. Throughout history, artists, writers, cartoonists, creative people have been in the forefront of the Palestinian resistance movement for liberation. And it's really amazing to be recognized alongside my colleagues and friends. I want to dedicate this to my family in Gaza ever and always, to, my, to the city that I love more than anything. <laughs> There are still many people out there in Gaza who didn't die and who would tell us their stories. I mean, those who died, they did not tell us how they died. So I'm here, I'm today here, and I wrote this book because I was lucky to be alive. So I dedicate this award again to the creative people of Gaza. Um, why having translation award? Translation is a highly creative activity. It's not a, a simple technicality. And this year, the award is going to two individuals who are not with us, um, unfortunately. Um, uh, Maine Rabani and Dalia Rabani. Maine is a, a Palestinian journalist based in Holland. But we're very fortunate to have the book translated by Moeen, which is the collection by Mohammed Sabani. And just today, one of my French Spanish cartoonists and comics artists, she asked me not to travel back to West Bank. And I thought, I'm advising my friend from Gaza not to travel to, to Gaza, and she's advising me not to travel back to West Bank. And I, I told her, no, I'm traveling back to West Bank. Do you know why? Because we are traveling to fight, to resist, to create better life for the next gen Palestinian generation. Thank you. Uh, the award I'm announcing today, which is the Counter Current Award, uh, the award recognizes the ways in which the work offers alternatives and the work offers new narratives to emerge. And the winner for this uh, uh, Counter Current Award this year is Sari Mokdisi for Tolerance is a Wasteland. Congratulations, Sari. The number of books that were shortlisted and the number of books that were even submitted to the prize to begin with shows how much work is still going on on Palestine. We're often told that people forgot about Palestine or don't care about Palestine, but obviously all these books show that Palestine lives on. The 2022 Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Professor Sarah Roy. She is, of course, uh, a leading scholar of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and, above all, a student of Gaza. In recent years, Israel's aggressive defenders deliberately, deliberately conflate anti-Zionism with anti-Semitism. They weaponize anti-Semitism in order to silence support for Palestinian rights. Sarah demonstrates in her own person, in her own work, that it is possible to be a strong and a fierce critic of Zionism without in any way being an anti semite We would like to see you go even further 
to the Global South. A lot is happening in the Global South, in South Africa, in Latin America. We hope that in time the award would, would, would bring in authors from those uh, geographic parts. I hope that there will be more books every year, more brilliant books, and it will become an institution that people long for and enjoy coming to and all Palestinians want to get their books in it.